All right, everybody. Week seven of Come Follow Me. This is really fun. This is the this this week we're talking about uh, sections twelve and thirteen of the Doctrine and Covenants. So, really short sections. In fact, section thirteen is literally one verse. And we're going to explain why that's one verse, and it's in a very important verse. So, section twelve is a fun one. It's a revelation given through Joseph Smith to uh, Joseph Knight Senior. Remember, let me see. That's the right name. Yes, Joseph Knight Senior in Harmony, Pennsylvania. So this is an important part of church history with Harmony, and some of the events that happen around this area is really good. There's a lot of church history sites that you can go to. If I remember right, uh, part of the the church history tours is is through Harmony, Pennsylvania, in that area a little bit. Uh, so a lot of fun stuff there. I'm sure the other come follow me people that are doing these videos like this are going to have all kinds of stuff in there. You know about ordinances and everything else, which is great. Ordinances are important, very important things. So I don't have a lot of notes on this, but these are really significant. So section 12 is a good revelation. It teaches us some more ideas, kind of a follow-on from section 4 about missionary work and the importance of missionary work. Not just missionary work as an importance for other people and for the greater work of God, but realize that missionary work is a way for us as individuals to become better and to, in a way, seek our own salvation through helping others to gain their salvation as well. So missionary work actually has a has a, an effect on us, and it helps us, and in a way, helps us to improve our chances of being saved in the last days as well because of those efforts, and it helps to purify us and to do things. So it's a, there's a really good effect in our lives when we do missionary work. So think about that next time you get a ministering assignment, next time you are asked to help in talking to other people about the gospel, that missionary work isn't just something you do because you're a member and it's just something you got to do is go talk to people about the gospel and it's boring and it's just tedious and I don't want to have to do it. Realize that actually teaching the gospel, talking with other people about the gospel, helping other people to learn the gospel is an actual way that we save ourselves, that we improve ourselves by helping others. This is part of God's plan. So that's a little bit of what section 12 is about. Now section 13 is a really good one, a really, really good one, because, and this is one of the historical events around Harmony, Pennsylvania, was as Joseph and Oliver were translating the Book of Mormon, I think this is when they got into that part around Alma when he went and baptized the people after he fled from King Noah and things, that they said, well, we need to be, we're not baptized. We need to be baptized. This is an important thing to be done. The Book of Mormon people are doing this, so we should probably be baptized too. So they went and inquired of the Lord of what should we do, and they went out in this grove of trees in Harmony, Pennsylvania to inquire more about this. And an angel appeared to them. And this angel says, I am John the Baptist. So he shows up. He comes in and he teaches them about the priesthood a little bit. And then he proceeds to confer the Aaronic priesthood on them and has them baptize each other. So section 13 is basically an excerpt from Joseph Smith's history is basically what John the Baptist said to them. So realize section 13 is more of a quote from John the Baptist. That's really cool to think about. This is These are the words of John the Baptist when he came and talked with Joseph and Oliver. And then they got baptized and they got the Aaronic Priesthood, which is the beginning of ordinances. And if you are familiar, we're, we're doing the whole Article of Faith section. You realize that the Articles of Faith actually are put together in an order there is an actual order to them. So our Article of Faith number five, uh, receiving the priesthood, came before Article of Faith number six, which is setting up the organization and then the gifts and everything else. So ordinances are super, super important. And if you follow our, our uh, whole, we have a whole playlist about understanding truth. There's an important part in there about how ordinances are also another way to think of an ordinance is saving truth. And it's a different kind of truth than a lot of the truths that we have in this world. They're very rare. They're not as widespread as a lot of other types of truths, but they are a very specific type of truth that will help us in our lives, a saving truth. And there's a, there's a difference between most types of truth and a saving truth. 
ordinances are saving truths. And then that playlist that so we have those videos getting ready to come out, you'll learn more about that as well. So ordinances are important. They are very, very important in our lives. So go follow those videos as well to learn more. This is a really fun section and uh, understand that this is where things are starting to come together as far as bringing all of the, the old ways of things, all the stuff, because we talk about the latter days, it's that culmination of bringing everything back into one, that fullness of the gospel, if you will. So this is the part of the beginning of that, part of it was the bringing the Book of Mormon, but now we have John the Baptist on the scene. And he said that he's working under the direction of Peter, James, and John. And that's really cool too, because they're gonna come here in a few more sections as well, and confer the Melchizedek priesthood upon uh, Joseph and Oliver, so that they can then administer in the higher ordinances, and they can now do more as far as organizing the church and putting things together and calling everybody else and and so forth. So there's more organizational structure coming to the gospel and to the church. So really fun time in church history. Read the saints, go through that one. You're going to learn a lot of fun stuff, and realize well these are small sections. There's a lot in them. There really is a lot in these sections. So do not overlook these sections and uh, have fun going through Come Follow Me this week. And love to hear your comments. Leave comments on the video about what you felt and what you thought as you went through Come Follow Me this week and how that has inspired you or helped you in your life. I'd love to hear comments and get discussions on these things.